Hey everyone, welcome back to my stats component tutorial, part five I think we're on. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be going over how we can add bonus stats and then combining our base stats plus the bonus equaling to a total amount. Uh, from the system that I'm gonna build throughout this video, you'll be able to add as many as you want. So um, I know like some games will have like um, uh, different types of like bonus uh, stats attributes. Uh, so you could have like, for example, um, like you, your base stats, you could have like bonus stats. You can then also have like a third one with, um, um, I, I don't know, the, the second bonus one. Uh, think of names. I'm not great with names. Uh, <laughs> but nonetheless, you'll be able to create all of that, combine them together, and then um, display that to the player. So with that, we're going to have to change a lot of the functions that we currently have. Uh, we're going to do a lot of um, uh, changing and cleaning up. I did run like a dry run on my stream a bit ago where I was able to create a functional version and then throughout that, uh, I'm gonna build upon that concept but kind of make it a little neater as well um, and then provide that process to you guys. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, and like always, so what I wanted to actually show is that I actually have created this previously during my stream, as I said. Uh, so there are a couple extra functions, macros that I showed from here and we're going to kind of go into that uh, so uh, unlike most of my videos I actually kind of planned this one ahead of time to make sure I could build a fully functional uh, kind of base and bonus stat system so that we can kind of improve upon what we have so with that what uh, we're going to go into is that first things first is we're going to open up this what we want to actually represent is that Currently, we only have attributes and stats, so everything is being added onto one single map. And while you could technically work with that, and then whenever you add stats, you can then just add um, all of your like inventory items onto the attributes, and then whenever you lose them, just subtract that. Uh, the only issue is that, let's say you start, um, hey, give them a bonus of 3%, and then you start then when they lose that buff, you're like, okay, now lose 3%. But let's say they also lost an item. So things get kind of complicated within the math. And I can kind of go further into that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create three different maps. So what we're going to have is our attributes. We're going to then have our bonus attributes. And then we're also going to have our total attributes. So with that, uh, you could also eventually do things like give 3% to their total attributes or only give 3% to their base attributes. You can do things like that. You can create as many maps with the system we're going to make, uh, but it'll be a lot easier for you to kind of debug things as well as just your math later in the future. If you put everything into one variable, it kind of gets a little bit difficult to manage. Now, it's not impossible. You could absolutely do that. If you're a math wizard, go for it. For those that like to just break it down as much as they can, kind of like what I like to do, uh, then this is definitely a, a lot easier to go through about doing. Especially right now with our current system, uh, what we're doing is we're actually setting the stats based upon the scaling, which doesn't really work with like items. Uh, so if they were to like gain a level, it's just gonna like recalculate everything. Um, and that's not exactly going to be the greatest thing to do, especially with, um, like I said, with all the situations where you could like lose items, gain percentages, things like that. So anyways, what we're going to want to do, first things first, is we're going to create three different types. Uh, so we're going to rename this to attributes. I'm going to control D, control D. We're going to call this one bonus attributes. We'll name this total attributes. You could also do something with like um, copy paste and then you could do like item attributes if you wanted to really distinguish between like what the items are providing versus what your base stats are providing. Uh, and then you could have any type of bonus amplifiers here. And then in the end, you just add all of them together to the total attributes. So anyways, oop, I deleted one too many. Okay, we're gonna name this one to base attributes. Do the same thing with stats. We're gonna name this stats. Control D, 
we're gonna name this bonus control D and total not total bonus stats just total stats okay and then we're gonna do base stats Hit compile everything looks great I'm just gonna save just in case because I actually had this crash on me right beforehand so um, I ended up losing like 21 minutes of progress because I never compiled so redoing this video but at the same time it kind of allows me to talk about it a little bit more and more efficiently so with this what we're now going to do is we now need to be able to distinguish between the different types of attributes that we've now set with our maps so if we go into our add attribute how we're switching upon enums we're gonna do the exact same thing we're gonna switch again <laughs> so how we're switching based upon what the attribute is we're also going to switch based upon what uh, type of attribute it is so we're going to go into here we're going to enums and we're going to create a brand new enum so you'd be able to just type in enum and we're going to name this e attributes list and then with this we're also going to just copy and paste it and we're going to call this stats list And then just to make this a little better, instead of showing attributes, we're going to call these attribute values. Now it is going to have to recalculate everything because I just renamed it. So it is what it is. We'll give it a second, a long second. All right, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to call those values. You also notice that the name is how changed to attribute values over on the left side. All right, so let's open up our list. We're now gonna create brand new enum. So one, two, three. Uh, unlike the other one, we're not gonna have a none. Uh, so we are going to have a default value that is going to be displayed. And we're gonna have that default value is just the base attributes and base stats. It'll just be a lot easier and uh, less errors. And we'll do, instead of base, we'll do, what was it called? Bonus attributes. And then we'll have total attributes. Save it there. And now let's open up our stat list. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We'll have base stats, bonus stats, total stats. Awesome. All right, so now what we need to do is we have to start from the very beginning. So just like we did with our last functions, uh, we're now going to have to fix all of the ones we currently have. So I'm going to start with the attribute check because all of our stuff starts with checking the attribute and checking the stat. So what we're going to need to add to all of our functions is we now need to add that type. So um, what we're gonna do pretty much in everything is we're gonna switch based upon what type. So we'll switch on attribute list. And I guess we should call that type. That'd probably be a little bit more consistent with what I'm talking about, but we can do that in a second. And we'll want to pass along this value into all of our functions because that's how we're going to keep track for all of it. And then also in the process, we're gonna fix and rename all of these because these say stats and not attribute. And I'll, let's get rid of that and we'll just do attribute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in here, we're gonna call this attribute type and we'll type attribute list. And then from here, we'll then, oop, let's move it up so that it's the first option. That'll make it a lot neater for us, okay. And then before we actually do more, let's go into all functions so that we can add this attribute type. It's a lot easier to add it all at once because if we go into here and hit add, it automatically goes to the attribute list type and it just saves us time. So we'll do attribute type. I'm actually gonna copy this to save my time typing. And then from the stat, I'll hit paste. And then we'll go into subtract, hit there paste you also don't have to open the function to see the inputs you can actually just select it 
as I'm doing now. And actually, let's go ahead and do the same thing for our stats. We'll do the same thing. We'll do stats list stat type. We're going to have to kind of do this for everything. It's going to break everything. Um, so we'll do that. And then we'll do that. Awesome. Just careful on compiling because if you compile, it could break. So we'll do that. But luckily, we didn't receive that. So we got errors everywhere. Obviously, that's going to happen because we just changed a lot to everything. So what we're now going to do is where we have the finding base attributes, we're going to repeat this three times or two times, sorry for a total of three. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste and copy and paste. And we can just plug all of that in. And we're gonna change these maps to the other two that we created. Just make sure they line up with the order that you set here. So like that, now we'll be able to check all of the attributes, all of the stats for, um, all three of our values. So if we ever wanna check the total, the bonus or the base, we'll be able to do so now. And now we need to go into doing the same thing for add attribute. So from here, because I changed the name to select attribute, all the select stats have broken, but that's quite all right because we're gonna actually remake a lot of this. Uh, so if we actually were to move this over and we'll type attribute type, and attribute select. Move this over. And actually, I think we could probably just move this on top uh, just to get that out of the way. I don't know why this is over here. Okay. So what we're going to do is now that we can select based upon the attribute, we're also going to need to um, switch so that we can use the correct map. Now, the only thing is, obviously, we don't want to copy and paste all of this three times because we could go through here and just do copy, paste, copy, paste. But obviously, this is going to be really ugly to look at. Now, you can do that if you want to. I don't like that type of chaos in my life, uh, so I'm going to pass. Uh, so with that, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function so that I can just reuse it for the three times that I need to. So we'll go ahead and go through here. And actually, one thing I'm going to do beforehand is I'm going to delete this add value and I'm gonna plug it into here. Uh, that's actually, you'll see it'll create a add value pin for my function and it'll just be easier. Uh, let me actually connect the uh, type and we'll do this. It's gonna look a little ugly at the second, but it'll just save us some time. So let's go ahead and highlight all of this and then we'll oh, wait. Upon selection, plug that into select, okay. Now we'll create the function. We just need to make sure all the pins are connected. Uh, it'll be a lot easier once we create this function right now. So with that, you'll notice that we have all of these functions. So it's a little chaos right now. That's all right. Uh, let's shrink this down. And we're going to have to name it something. I don't have a great name in mind at the moment with this function name. Uh, so I'm going to call this, um, let's go with, it's C, I don't know, it's like a sub function, sub add attribute. You can come up with butter name later. Uh, that's kind of all right. We'll go through that at a later time. And the reason why I did a uh, function and not a macro is because if you actually were to create a macro as such, like if I were to show you here, so now we have this macro that has all these pins. But for example, uh, you see how I have this uh, reference for the attribute type and select. If I was to delete this right now, and now you can't actually bring that back. So that would 
all require you to plug it in. And I mean, you can, and you can start having some spaghetti code, but I try to teach to not do this because now we have all these pins going everywhere. It's super ugly for everyone. And we just don't want to see that. <laughs> so what an, we are not going to do that. And bam. So now let's try to clean this up a little. Now we have every reference for everything. Let's get rid of some duplicates. So from here, we notice that we have two attribute values here. So let's delete this one because we don't need that. And then, oh, there's three attribute values. So we're going to delete that as well. And then we're going to rename this to value. And let's go ahead and move this down. And then from here, we can then do select attribute, select attribute. And the reason I have all of these pins actually passing along to a return, you don't have to because it's not going to return anything. Uh, but for me, um, in case I ever want to add any type of functions to here, it's just a lot easier to go back. Um, I'm just, it's, it's partially out of just laziness. But nonetheless, we'll leave it there because it doesn't harm me right now. For now. Okay. So from here, now we'll be able to pass along the map that we're using. So if we go back to add map, oh, let's go ahead and delete this. So now we can switch to different types of maps. So if I was to copy and paste this, plug that in. And now I would be able to add the attribute for here. Now we wouldn't really call this function. We'd honestly, we'd just call this one. And then that way you could just select the type, select the attribute and then it passes along perfectly fine. Uh, so if we were to disconnect all of this, we're gonna do a switch attribute list, plug in that type, and then we'll just type attribute type. Let me delete this. We'll do select attribute. And then we'll just do value. And like that, we'd be able to now pass this along. I'm going to move that up a little. And then we'll copy and paste. Copy and paste. Plug all of that. And just change these. So now we have the bonus. And now we'll have total. We'll compile. Things are still going to be broken. That's perfectly fine. We have to fix everything. But with this, we'll now be able to distinguish and add between all of those based upon what we use. So if we were to call the add attribute, we'll now be able to select the type we want to use. So we could use base attributes, bonus, total. And then you can also be like, let's add to the strength of the base or the strength of the total and then plug in a value of et cetera. And like that, you'd be able to select between the difference uh, or you can then pass along an enum depending on what type. So if you had an item that gives a bonus to the attribute type of bonus attributes, you would then plug that enum into here and then you could just set it according. Um, of course, I'm not going into an inventory system, but I am explaining how you could possibly do it. All right, so with this, we're gonna have to do like the exact same thing, but for subtract. So with this, we're kind of having the same issue, but I'm going to be really lazy. I'm going to copy and paste this. And we'll name this subtract. So sub subtract, not a great name. That's fine. And from here, instead, we'll just do subtract. Delete that, plug that in, plug that in. All right, perfect. Super easy. We go into the subtract attribute value. And I'm actually going to delete all of this. 
we're going to switch attribute list. We're going to plug that in. Oh, wait, I don't think I should have deleted everything. Hold on. We'll delete. Let's go into the subtract attribute, the sub. Where is it? Here. And we'll update the ones that are plugged in because we're not checking max XP when subtracting. So that makes no sense. Um, so we'll delete that, plug that in. Want to make sure we have the correct plugins in. Perfect. And then let's actually move this along like that. Okay. So subtract is basically done. We're good here. Go back into subtract. And now that we have confirmed everything looks good, now we can delete. Scrolling back in, we'll then do a switch, attribute list, and we'll plug that in. And then from here, we'll do sub subtract uh, attribute. And we're gonna have to now plug in everything. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think I could be lazy again if I go over here, copy and paste. Does that work? No, it's subtracted value. Well, it mainly worked. Good enough. And we plug that in. Bam. And from here, we'll just shift that up. And we'll do a nice copy paste. And a copy paste. And we'll delete these because we're going to now plug it in. Plug that in. Perfect. Now we're gonna go into the set attribute. So we're gonna do something similar for here as well. For the set attribute, it should be relatively easier. Uh, so instead, I think we could pr probably get rid of this. Actually, hold on. Let's... Let's copy the subtract one. We'll do sub set attribute. I really got to come up with better names. It's probably super confusing. Um, let me put all the subs below just so we can get them out of the way. Okay. Mm. And let's do a uh, sub primary. I just want them out of the way. I don't want to see them. Sub primary. Okay. Okay. Now within the set, we want to make sure that we are matching this, which honestly, we're just connecting the map and we're connecting the stat and the value. So it should be super easy. So we'll be able to delete this, delete this, delete that. And we will plug that in. Like, do we need to select the type here in the sub? I guess for attribute check, yeah. Okay, that looks good. Let's go back to set attribute over here and let's go ahead and delete all this. We'll then do a switch list. We're gonna plug that in as usual. Sub set attribute. And then I'm going to be lazy once more. Gonna plug all that in. Set value.
And we'll move this up, make a pin. We'll do this, plug that in, highlight all of it, control D. Control D and plug that in. Let's fix the maps. I think I have to fix the maps on the other ones too. I don't know if I fixed that yet. Uh, so let's double check because there may be errors. Yeah. Fixing the maps. Let's go back to add attribute, bonus, attribute check. Okay. And look at that, the compile didn't fail. Sweet, so we're on our way. So now we have to do the exact same thing for our subtract. Uh, so let's go ahead and maybe change this to like sub functions, I don't know. Let's see if we can copy and paste these to kind of save ourselves some time. Well, actually, I don't think we're going to be able to because if we go to add stat value, it's based differently. Uh, so stat type, attribute type. Okay, so we're gonna have to do the exact same thing. I'm gonna try to speed this up maybe a little bit. Uh, so we're gonna go over here. We'll do a switch list base. And then disconnect that, select stat. It's the exact same thing we just did, but for a different map. So I will go slightly faster with less explanation. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. That's that value. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Plug that in and we'll do this. Oop. And we'll do oop. attribute oop. stat type, plug in that, create function. Where'd it go? And we'll call this sub add stat stat type select stat i forgot to do add value so we'll do add value and we'll change that to a float add value We'll do a switch list. Line that up a little more. And lift, copy, paste, copy, paste. Then the sub add stat, I'm gonna add up here as well. And then I'm going to go into this to make sure we're doing the same thing with our stats. Let's fix this up. Check max health. Okay, so that's really the only thing we're doing here. That's cool. Now I'm going to copy and paste to do basically the same thing with the subtract. Ran into a slight error, had to kind of reopen this. Uh, but what happened is basically um, I just had to redo the sub subtract copy and paste, uh, which wasn't really much of a setback. Anyways, going back into it. Um, now that I've added this, we're going to have to change this into subtract. And then just plug that in here, change this to say subtracted value. And we'll also need to get the 
min health, which is what we'll be subtracting here. Plug that into health and plug that into the Alpin. And then let's fix that subtracted value. And then also let's fix the target map to say um, stat map. Then let's do the same thing. Oh, this should say stat attribute. I ended up changing too many. Or sorry, attribute map. All right. Anyways, uh, let's make sure no errors occurred because I changed that. Okay, so we're just plugging in. That's fine. Let's go back to the add value, make sure everything looks good here. Go back to the subtract. And then now we can get rid of this. We'll switch list, plug that in. Sub subtract stat. And then we'll pull in our base stats type. Select. And then value. Let's line that up. Pull this up here. And we'll lift, copy, paste, copy, paste, plug that in here. And we're going to do the same thing for here. Now for the last thing, we're gonna to have to now set the value pull in here. Let's do this. Let's pull that in and then let's do that. And then let's just do collapse function. Sub set stat. I really need to do better names. I say that in every single video I do switch list. Plug that in, delete all of these. Plug that in. Stat type, rename key to select stat. And value. Oh wait, what happened here? Okay. Move this over, let's clean this up. Move that up, copy paste. Copy paste. Now let's drag in bonus. Total. Okay, type. I just don't like to see that really ugly thing moving. Honestly, the switch isn't necessary. You could actually delete it. It's not gonna impact anything unless you start putting in functions here. Uh, I just leave it because again, lazy, we may add functions in the future, don't know. Uh, but we'll get that later. And then I wanted to fix this to say stat map. All okay. right. So let's just confirm set looks good. We have the three different types of stats. Uh, we don't have the three different types here. Let's add stat value. We also don't have it here. Uh, 
Okay, let's go into the sub attributes. Uh, let's go here. Bonus total. All right, we gotta fix this too. Like I said, I had a thing crash on me, so I wasn't sure what uh, was out of date and not, so I had to redo things. Plugging all of that in. Right. Now that we have added all of those functions, now we can work on correcting everything else. So with that, we're now going to have to fix our um, scaling stats. So if let's close out all of these open things. I want to go to our event graph. So let's go here. And with our scaling stats from here, we want to create a new input. We're going to name this um, stat type. Um, no, we're going to name this attribute type. And we'll do attribute list. Because what we want to do is plug that into here. And then let's try to clean this up a little. Why don't I move this up here, this down here, and then move select attribute up. Plug that into there. All right. Looks a little better. We just move that down and move that over and then attribute type. Oh, we'll have to pass along the stat type to. So we'll do stat type. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this because we shouldn't need to, unless we did a switch within here. I could do, oh, hold on, undo that. So we got rid of stat type here and we can do switch. No, 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 we'll, we'll pass along. That's gonna be too chaotic. Uh, So this is for scale stats. If we went over here, now we can pass along what we're gonna update. Um, mm. So if we were to plug in the types, and now we could scale it based on that. So we plug these in. Plug these in. Plug that in. Okay. 
So now we have a strength update. Cool. All of these are now gonna be a little odd. So let's, okay, we have base that's set. Um, let's kind of move this aside. Okay, base. I'm gonna use base for um, XP and level. You can use total or base, it's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing for XP. We're just gonna use base because um, it's just easier. Yep, 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 yep. And then for this, we're gonna do the same thing using base check wait no we should do total health total health um, check for total total okay set value for total Total. Okay. Got to use total health for this one instead of the the base because I mean, if you have bonus health, you want to calculate for all of that. Um, okay. Cool. We got that. Now we have to fix the starting attributes. So from going over here, select attribute. Doesn't matter because we're updating all stats of the base stats. Okay, let's move this over, over. Okay. Just verifying. So if we were to Update all stats. We should be using the base. So like updating strength, we're gonna be updating base, 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 base. Make sure all of that is set. Cool. Trying to think of what else we're missing. We should be able to add things now. So now let's go into our UI, because I think it's going to be broken. Player stats. Oh, it's actually intact. Attributes, base, base, base. And so instead, we're going to change this to, well, that can stay there. But for these, let's change this to total. Now let's create debugs. We should be good to go, but let's find out. We'll do debug key three, and we'll do attribute check. Why did it not? Oh, sorry. Attribute check. And we're gonna check our strength for everything. So we're gonna do print. Append, we'll do uh, base str and plug that in. Copy and paste and copy and paste. Make sure it changes to strength. This will be total, this will be bonus. This will be uh, strength. Okay. And then I'm going to set a debug key Q. And then from here, we're going to add attribute, which is going to be our base strength by three. We'll do print string. We'll do another append. We'll do 
add base str. And then I'm going to copy and paste. And we'll do bonus and do a debug key E. Okay. First things first, let's hope it works. So I press one. Oh, I don't think I have. <laughs> um, okay, so press one. I don't think I have an XB thing set. So let's go into two. We'll do um, Q. I added some strength. It looks like it's adding. If I press one, cool. Okay, it's not syncing. So this is not updating. Let's go into our player. Let's make sure everything looks good. Uh, stat component system. It looks like we have warrior sele selected. Um, we got all of our stats and stuff is showing. Let's actually turn these defaults to zero. Oh, wait. Let's go into our stat system and let's turn all these bonuses to zero. I don't think I did that. And total stats should also be zero. We don't need values here. Also, we have no way to calculate, so I don't know why this would work yet. Uh, okay, I kind of messed up. Oh, by messed up, I mean we kind of skipped a few steps. Okay, so we have the ability to set the bonus, and we have the ability to set the um, strength, like whether it is um, bonus or total. But if we were to open this up, We'll notice we have zero right now, and that is because we currently have no way to scale it and add them together. Uh, so we need to be able to add a function for that. Uh, so let me see. Right now we have update stats, but we need to, let's see. I'm trying to think. When we are updating our stats, we need to make sure that we have the ability to update our attributes. Okay, so within our sub functions, we're gonna need to make sure we have a function that does the uh, set the total and set the um, the um, total stats and set the total attributes. So we're going to do new function. We'll do set total attributes. And then we'll do set total stats. And then from here, we'll do set stats. Oh, sorry. Set stat value. And we're going to take our bonus and or our base and our bonus. We are going to then need to have a select attribute. Plug that in. This should be set to total because we're just setting the total. It's always going to be the setting the total. And then we're going to have to add the at the stat stat. And let me copy this. And we'll add. Plug that in. Okay. So we're going to have to do the same thing over for the set totals. So let's go put this here. Put this here. 
we're going to get the base, get the bonus, find, select here, select attribute. Let's move that down. Plug in here, add, plug in here, set attribute. This should be total, plug that in, plug that in. All right, now let's go into our subs. So this is for attribute. And then from here, We'll do set total attributes. I can move that up here. All right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that for all the subs. So I'm going to go ahead and go to set attributes. Move that over. Um, sorry, subtract, plug that in. Go into add attribute. Chaotic mess that it is, set total. Okay. Now let's go into add stats. Set total stats. All right, we don't need to have it so chaotically over here. Set stat. So we're at set stat. There's too many things open, hard to see. Add, subtract. Oh. Plugging all of this in. Then now we go to set. Plug that in. Okay. Let's try this again. Now we have the ability to set it. Once it saves. Now let's go, actually, let's go into our event graph. I need to add a function to, let's do uh, R key, D, debug R key. And let's do add attribute, and I'm going to add XP. And we'll just do like 150, print string, Add 150 XP. Okay. Let's try this again. Infinite loop. Okay. Show message. AC stats set total stats is an infinite loop. Which is probably because we're being called in every subset. 
Okay, okay, okay. So within our subs, we forgot to do one thing. We need to also make sure that we're checking that the uh, stat type is not equal to total. And then branch. Because what's going to happen is it's just going to keep looping in over and over again. And uh, let's move this down. Plug that into here. Let's move this over here. Let me actually copy like all of this because this is going to be a lot easier. And then we're going to go into, once again, so many things opened up. I'm going to go set. I'm going to delete all of this. It's also not even plugged in. All right, so let's try to take this slow. Okay. So the attributes are adding correctly. So let's see, when we add a stat value, we're sub adding base bonus in total. Let's go into here. We are in fact adding, we are adding the value, selecting the values, stat type, we're making sure it doesn't equal to total, so it's not an infinite loop. And then when we go into there, we are setting the total stats. By setting the stats, total base plus bonus set value. Perfect. Okay. So now let's go into set stat value. Or we did add, now let's do subtract. We're subtracting. We're checking does not equal total stats. Set total stat check. That looks good. We go to set. Oh, wait, wrong one. Subset. And then we set the value accordingly. Does not equal set total. It's fine. So it looks like we're setting all the stats correctly in the subs. So let's go into stat check. Base, there we go. Bonus, total. Let's see if that fixes it. Okay, so we're level one. We have 14 strength. Let's, we're at 20 strength now. Cool. Let's add some bonus, which is 23. Okay, now let's gain a level. We're level three and we're at 31. Now we have 1400 max health. That would, if we were to gain some more levels, we're now at 1800. Let's increase our bonus health. So now we have a total of 10 bonus. Still at 1800, still at 1800. Okay, so our max health is not being impacted by um, our bonus. So our bonus strength is not multiplying. It's only multiplying based upon the base. So let's see. Our update stats is what controls. Oh, that's just controls in the beginning. So if we went to update, this is how we're scaling. So if we went to scale stats, we're taking the multiplier and we're multiplying it. Hmm. I wonder why. And then after we set the value, subset and set total, base and bonus. Let's see. 
So let's trace it to the very beginning. When we add an attribute, we are then having to add the attribute here. So if we go in here, let's say we're adding strength. That means it should go into adding strength. And that's where we messed up here. So let's expand these. And we need to plug in the attribute type and select type. Attribute. I was feeling a little rushed because it was dinner time, and that's where mistakes happen. And then stat type. Aw. Hmm, this is interesting because in order to. I think I could do a macro. Okay, so what we do is uh, switch. And then based upon that, we would need hmm. Let's copy paste this over here. Copy paste this over here. We could probably do something easier where it's um, based on attribute type. And you could do base bonus. Uh, okay, and then we can do plug that in, plug that in. And do a macro where we need to collapse to macro. We'll do uh, attribute, oh, let's do MC update. Oh, MC is probably bad. Because that's that's a multiplayer thing. Um, we'll do Mac, MAC. I'm not sure what macro would be best for update SDR. Let's go into here. Move that up. Plug that in. Okay. Do, do, do. That's good. Let's also do agility. SD or int. And we'll do update agility. And then we'll plug that in. Plug, oh, didn't mean to do that. Plug that in, plug that in, and we'll plug that in. Okay. Once more, we're going to go back into add attribute. We're going to go into, I'm going to copy this. Delete, delete, delete. Plug that in, plug that in. Delete, paste, paste. Okay. Now let's go back into uh, where is that add attribute? Delete, 
You know what? I don't think I need to have a plug in here. Or, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay. I was thinking of possibly a way to make it just easier, but okay. Anyways, let's go back into sub add and we'll do this, this, plug that in, plug that in, plug that in. One, two, and three. Delete, delete, delete. Line all of this beautiful, beautiful, ugly spaghetti code. Oh, okay. And we can just do this instead. Okay. And now with that, we'll be able to update our stuff correctly. Let's go to subtract attribute. I've got to go into this. I'm going to paste all of that beauty in. Plug in all of this. Okay. And then we're going to go to set. We're going to go in here again and paste. All right. I know this was a lot longer, but should be good to go. So let's hit, oh, of course, autosave. Press one, we have 700 health. I'm gonna add some bonus. So we have a total bonus 10 and now we're at 1200. Let's gain a level. We're at level four at 1800. Add some normal strength. All right, and with that, we are scaling our stats. We're scaling our attributes. Everything is in fact calculating correctly. And actually, before I end the video, I'm going to do a quick thing to our UI just to make it less annoying to view. Uh, so let's actually go into the, um, not this UI, this UI. We're going to go into player stats, designer. I'm actually going to wrap this with a canvas because I'm just using it for this specifically. So let's canvas. Typically, you don't want to add a canvas to this, but since I don't have a base, I'm going to, where's my canvas? There it is. I'm gonna do it anyways. Uh, okay, we'll do here, align 0 0.5, so it's in the center. And then we'll just do, I don't know, 1,000. There we go. Now our UI will look a lot less uh, disgusting. There we go. So it looks a lot better and kind of what it was intended to look like. Okay, with that, we now have a stat component that now can have bonus stats and you calculate it into the total stats to display. You can then do tons of math later on where you can end up having characters with items and it won't affect your base stats moving forward. Now, thank you so much for those that reached the end of this video. I know it was very long. There was a lot of things going on, a lot of things that needed to be changing. I tried to give a warning in the beginning, but if you enjoyed this series, feel free to like, subscribe, all the self promo stuff, join the discord, and have a great rest of your day.